Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm back with a Zara haul. What do we expect? It's the start of a new month, so we all know what that means. Um, it's a Zara haul, basically. If you don't know already, I do two Zara hauls a month. One at the start and one at the middle. Um, so yeah, this is obviously the one for the start of August. Subscribe down below so you don't miss the second one. My Instagram will be on screen here, so you can go over and follow me on there. Yeah. There we go. I've got a lot of parcel stuff to get through today. I've got literally like three big ones stacked there. I've got a mini parcel here. I've got a lot of these little like bag parcels. So there's a lot to get through. There's a lot of stuff. We're going to get on with it. If the lighting changes throughout this video, it's because of the sun, which is already starting to do my head in. Why are we so overexposed? But yeah, without me blabbering on anymore, I'm going to get these parcels open. We're going to go through the stuff. I'm going to get on with the video. It'll be charm haul as always. Everything will be linked down below. Let's just get on with it. We're going to start off with this little card, which I saw on... Grace Shadrach, no, maybe Grace Foley, I can't remember. One of the Graces from Grace and Grace, I saw this in a vlog that they did and I really liked it on her. And I had seen it on the website, but I wasn't that fussed. But then when I saw it on her, this is actually hurt my, hurt my arm holding it like that. And um, when I saw it on her, I really liked it, so I decided to order it. So the first part is this little blazer. You buy them separately, but they do go together. Um, it's kind of like a, a crew beigey kind of colour. Um, little blazer. I got this one in a size small. They do do it in an extra small as well, which I do actually have. I've just remembered. I did manage to get my hands in extra small afterwards. Let me just grab that. In this box, we have the extra small blazer, which um, is the one that I'm going to show just because I think it'll probably fit me better. I mean, they are the exact same. They're obviously just a different size. Why every time I go to film does the telephone ring? Like, I just, I don't understand house phones. Like, we have mobile phones for a reason. Like, if you want to contact me, you call my mobile. You don't need to call the whole house. Anyway, so as I was saying, I got this blazer. Um, they do it in sizes extra small to extra, extra large. And it's $29.99. It's got this little tortoiseshell button here. And it's a little short-sleeved crop blazer. It has got some shoulder pads in it, but they're never really anything too extreme. They're just a little bit of, like, subtle structure there just to give a bit of shape. But you can cut them out. And then, down here somewhere, where have I put them? I then have the trousers. So, again, obviously the same colour. Again, I got these in an extra small and they were £29.99. And they just look like this. Um, so they've got this really nice pleat detailing down the side. The way that Zara have packaged them is actually kind of like that. So if you were to keep these, I'd recommend folding them the way that Zara sends them, just because then it'll keep... The pleat detail in them if that makes sense um so they look like so little pleat detailing they've got pockets um i think they'll be nice and high-waisted and just look really nice and obviously you don't have to wear these with the blazer you could wear them separately little white vest top you're pretty much good to go um and again obviously the blazer as well you can wear separately and then on the back we just have a little pocket which is stitched up but you could probably unstitch if you wanted to and yeah i just thought it was a really cute cord i do love a wide leg trouser i also love a blazer um so i thought this one was quite sweet and i'm hoping and i think from memory there's like a little bit of skin showing like a little bit of a gap between the trousers and the blazer which i also think will look really nice so that is the first thing then we have these which are actually from the sale which i know started like at the start of last month but there are still a few things in the sale if people are like returning them or whatever that seem to be cropping up and i've been keeping my eye on these for a little while i originally bought these when they were full price at 49.99 i think i showed them in a haul quite a few months ago um and then they went in the sale but they were still 30 pound in the sale and i was like i still don't want to spend that much and then i knew they were going to reduce them eventually because they weren't selling like they weren't going out of stock or anything they eventually reduced them down to 19.99 and when it got to that price i was like yep yeah, okay i'll allow myself to buy them for that so in here i have these fluffy slider type shoe things they're very much reminding me of like the ugg slides in the fact that they're really really fluffy and they kind of look like that and they are honestly the softest thing i do have some ugg slides but they've kind of like the fur's not very nice anymore but these are perfect they are so soft they've got quite a thick sole as well you probably could wear these out of the house and to be honest i kind of am tempted to like obviously you could keep these as slippers i kind of want to wear these just to like pop out to run errands or whatever because they are so comfy and so soft and um, they've just got like two little kind of strips there and these i got in a size five because i'm kind of a four slash five but normally in trainers and flat shoes i get a five and these are ever so slightly too big for me and i do kind of like big foot and i do kind of wish i got the size four but they're now sold out um but yeah, I still like them. I think I'm still going to keep them because even just to wear them around the house. I will link these down below. I think, like I said, they're out of stock. But if you keep checking back, someone might return them and you might be able to get some. I have a bit of a headache today and I can't think how to like transition from one item to the next. Like my brain just is not working and I feel like this is just 
not a smooth flowing video because I just don't know how to transition things today apparently but anyway we have some jeans now these are some wide leg jeans which on the model looked so nice they just look like the perfect kind of jeans that you can chuck on with a simple top but the jeans kind of do all the talking even though they're simple jeans does that make any sense I don't think so um they're the perfect wash of denim for me like kind of the beautiful mid wash these were 29.99 um and they're basically just wide leg jeans there's not a whole lot to them they've got a little bit of distressing on the bottom but these are like a little white crop top some nice shoes or something talking of nice shoes actually let me just show the next item because that's how i'm going to try and make this transition work i'm thinking of these jeans with these sliders simple white crop top these um i saw one of my friends on instagram posted kelsey um she posted these on her story and i was like oh my god they are beautiful and she sent me the link and then i just had to get them because i just couldn't resist um they kind of give me designer vibes like hermes is that how you say that brand the lighting is just gone crazy and like they kind of give me those vibes like with the kind of i don't know that's like a chain detailing like cut out kind of thing and i just thought these would work really well with them so that's that item these were 29.99 i think yeah they weren't i just got them in my normal size just some really nice sliders but i feel like they look really expensive like i said they kind of give me designer vibes and then going back to the jeans um yeah just simple wide leg ones um i got these in a size six which is my normal size however i always find with zara denim that you need to size up and i know i'm not the only one like everyone i talked about zara jeans says that their normal size is so so small so just something to bear in mind if you want to buy these jeans or any zara jeans you probably want to size up or buy your normal size and size up and then you can see which one fits you best and return them because they normally are quite tight around the waist and like around this area but we'll try these ones on and see um because they're wide leg they might be a little bit bigger than normal sizing if you know what i mean but i really like these i'm not really a fan of wide leg jeans normally but these i really like carrying on with green i then got this dress i did get this in i think it was my second zara haul for the month of july i got the orange one and i knew they did a green one but i wasn't that fussed about it and then i saw so many people on instagram wearing this green one and i was like okay it's absolutely beautiful so i just had to get it it's like a really vibrant like apple sort of green color it's such a beautiful color um a little bit lighter than those sandals so they wouldn't really work together unfortunately unless you were going to do like different shades of green but this is just so beautiful it's the classic zara dress how it's like one of their tight body con kind of medaxi dresses um with the kind of scoop neckline and the kind of finished thin thick straps kind of like an in between they bring these out every year they often do them in like neutral colors but like i said this year they've got an orange which i showed in the last one and this green and um, they're only 14.99 they have a little slit on the back which i absolutely love they're so like nice like where am i going with this they're such a nice material they fit so nicely like they're so flattering um and for 14.99 i don't really feel like you can go wrong especially with tan this is just gonna look beautiful then we have a box of homeware so first off i ordered these which i don't know whether they've sent me like too many kind of thing i ordered two packs of two and i've got four packs of four but then they come in little boxes of the packs of two. So I don't really know if they've sent me the wrong ones. But anyway, I'm not normally one to be buying doorknobs. Bit random. But these I just absolutely love. Let me just pop this box down a second. So they're just these rope doorknobs, which I thought I'd put my chest of drawers down there, basically. Because I've got some white furniture in my room and some wooden furniture in my room. And although this is rope and not wood, it's kind of like a wood colour. So I thought if I put this on my white chest of drawers, it would kind of tie in a little bit better. And I am also currently missing, like two out of the four doorknobs on there anyway so i thought it's probably time to get some new ones and i really liked these i think they were literally only like 5.99 i think for the two of them and they're just these kind of like little rope ball things and i just thought they were quite sweet and also i thought you know what when i've got my own place and everything i probably will still want them then because i'm now starting to get to that point where when i buy homeware i'm thinking like is this something that i'm going to want in a future home if not I'm not having it. Do you know what I mean? So I've got two sets of these. Then I've got four all together. Although I now have eight. So I don't really know what's going on with that. Maybe Zara has sent me some free ones. Fingers crossed. But I don't know. And then I did also get this. Which is kind of just like a giant version of it. Again it's this giant like rope knot thing. And I've had my eye on this for so long on Zara. Um, but I just kept putting it off. Because I don't really want to spend money on a doorstop to be honest with you. But basically my wardrobe is like really thin for some reason so like some of my hangers are too big for the wardrobe and i've also got too much stuff in there so the door doesn't shut and it's really annoying so i just normally put like a cushion there to keep it shut but i thought this would look a lot nicer it's actually really really heavy um and this will help keep the door shut but it will look really nice in my room tie in with the doorknobs absolutely stinks actually that is ooh, that's disgusting i don't know 
what that smell is but it, that is actually not nice don't know what that is but it's not nice but anyway little door stop obviously you wouldn't need to use this to shut your wardrobe shut to keep your wardrobe shut you could use it as an actual door stop or something um but i just thought it was quite cute i really liked it and that was 19.99 and then lastly for homework i just got this little vase which to be honest i was expecting to be a bit bigger um i don't know how much i paid for this i think it was like 12.99 or 19.99 and i was expecting it to be a bit larger but it's just this kind of like i absolutely hate the feeling of it you know like unvarnished ceramic that is what it is and it just makes my skin crawl um but it's that kind of texture it's already got a bit of a dirty mark on it so i don't know if it's going to mark easily like that's how it arrived but it might be one of those materials that just dirt clings to and because it's not varnished you might not be able to get it off easily so just something to bear in mind um but it's kind of one of those um like vases to put like a single flower in or something or some pampas grass um, and i think it's really nice it's a really pretty design um and a really lovely color but like i said i'm just not sure about the texture and the way that that texture will cling to dirt if you know what i mean but there's a little vase there moving back to clothing i then got this dress which is absolutely beautiful i'd love to wear this on holiday um it's like a beautiful white satin material um and it's this kind of like long sleeve dress that has a knot detailing in it uh let me just hold it right so there we go kind of like knots down here and then it's got a kind of gappy bit either side i don't know how well you'll be able to see that you'll be able to see it a lot better in the try on clips but i just thought it's beautiful it's a nice like loose and flowy dress but it does have elastication on the back of the dress so it should hopefully go nice and tight on your waist um but you can't see that on the front and i got this in an extra small i've just realized i've not said my sizes for reference i'm a size six and i'm five foot five just um because everyone always seems to ask that is my sizing um and this i got in an extra small and it was 29.99 and I just think it's absolutely beautiful. I absolutely love this. And do you know what, actually? If you were going on like a honeymoon or like a hen party or something abroad, I think this would be such a nice dress to wear for that. I think it's absolutely beautiful and I'm obsessed with it. And then your bridesmaids on your like hen party or whatever can wear this dress because again, it's beautiful. Um, this is like a satiny pink dress. Um, I thought it was going to be a little bit nicer than this, to be honest. I did order a satin pink dress a few months ago and it was really beautiful but this one is a slightly different material i mean it's absolutely creased to like the high heavens from zara not packaging it very well so i apologize for that um but yeah this one's a little bit different so it looks like so it's got this kind of like stitching detail underneath your boob area and then it just kind of goes down it's just like a maxi pink dress what is this lighting don't get me wrong i absolutely love the sun but i would love it if it was just consistent like either all be out or stay behind the clouds don't keep coming in and out because you're messing up my lighting now and then on the back so it's just got those kind of thin cami straps which are adjustable and then the back it's got like this bra detailing there and then a kind of little open back part um which i thought was quite interesting but as you can see it's one that creases quite easily so if you're going to take away if you take it away with you in a suitcase you're probably going to want to bring like a little steamer or a mini travel iron because it's probably going to need it and this i got in a size small which was the smallest size i did it in and it's 27.99 and i just thought it was beautiful um but i don't think i'm going to like it as much as i did the last pink one just because of this like stitching bra detailing thing then of course i had to get a pair of wide leg trousers because we all know that i'm obsessed with them at the moment um and these ones are actually culottes which i've never really been a fan of before because i just feel like they're a bit of an awkward length do you know what i mean the fact that they're not full length but i actually really like these on the model so i thought i'd give them a go and apparently somebody has tried these on already and it wasn't me so this is what they look like they look really funny because they're just so short like they look like they're not like do you know what i mean because i'm used to having full length trousers they just look odd um but they've got this really nice pleating detail down the front they've got pockets in them on the front and on the back and i just thought these looked really really smart and they're also like a really nice sort of level of wide legness like they're really wide leg which i quite like um and then this is what they look like on the back and with like a little white crop top or something i think they'll look really nice and also if you've got like a nice colorful pair of heels or like a statement shoe on with them i think that'll look really good because obviously they kind of stop mid calf length so then your shoes are fully going to be on show whereas normally i feel like with full length trousers you only see like this much of the shoe so at least with these you can make your shoe really kind of stand out and these are 29.99 I got them in an extra small and there is also a little tag on them that says that they um it's got like recycled materials in there's a reduction of water consumption and a reduction of energy consumption something to do with that i think maybe when they were making them i don't really know they haven't really specified but 
they seem to be kind of good for the environment so we love that now for another dress this one again is a classic zara one i actually had this already in both the black and the white because i loved it so much um and they've recently released it in the nude so i thought i might as well get this one as well because i absolutely love this it's kind of like a beige nude color which i absolutely love so it's kind of like a racer back sort of dress like holds neck type thing and the fact that if you were wearing a normal bra with it you'd see your bra straps but normally what i do is kind of just like pull them in a little bit and you can kind of tuck them in so that kind of describes the neck pattern for you but you'll obviously see it better in the charm clips um and then it just goes straight down it's slightly ribbed and they're so flattering these dresses they're really like tight but they're also quite stretchy um so they're just so flattering they fit so nicely and they're only 11.99 um both the black and the white one they have and also this one um, is 11 99 and I've got it in a size small, which is the smallest size they do it in. I think this colour is so beautiful and I just feel like if you were to wear this, you'd look really elegant and classy and you can easily just chuck a pair of like flip-flops or sandals on, crossbody bags, some sunglasses, a little kind of sun hat if you wanted to and you'd be good to go. Like I absolutely love this and it's so cheap, but it's going to be one of those things that you wear year after year. Put it in your wardrobe or like put it away in the loft or under your bed when it's winter time and then bring it back out in the summer and wear it loads because it's just beautiful and I absolutely love it love it then i got some more satin things i always seem to get satin dresses and stuff in videos so this is currently like all untied so i'm not sure how the try clip is going to go for this um but this was 19.99 let me just pop the blue one there a second and it's just this like satin top and if you know the kind of tradition not traditional but like the zara satin dresses with the cow neck the crossover on the back that i seem to show every single haul because they keep releasing new ones this is like the top version of that basically they do have a white dress of this but i thought i'd get the top as well just to try it on with jeans and stuff um i'm really confused to be honest because all the kind of ties like the string on it has all got kind of tangled but basically it's a little cow neck top with the crossover on the back so it's just like a top version of the dress like i said um but currently i'm not too sure how i'm going to get this on so i might just have to include a picture instead and then um i did get this blue one because i thought this blue, 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 blue i thought this blue color was absolutely beautiful um it's kind of like a petrol blue and this is similar to the like classic um satin style dress but it's not quite the same so it has the cow neck as like the other ones do and then we have straps that go like this kind of like that and then on the back rather than crossing over they like go horizontal and then they tie up if you can see that i think it's a fairly low back as well and i just think this is absolutely beautiful do you know what this would actually kind of work quite well as it could work quite well as like a bridesmaid dress if you wanted to do like bridesmaid dresses on a budget this was 27.99 and they do it in sizes extra small to extra extra large so i think this is kind of like quite a pretty fancy little dress but equally just for like going out for drinks or something and again it has that little tag on it that has like the reduced water and energy consumption thing as well if that if that helps means anything we do have some color now which is a bit of a novelty however i saw these jeans and i was like oh my god zara have released more of them so if you remember those like green what colors did they do it in green I can't remember I know they did like a kind of foresty green in those wide leg jeans and they did a few other colors and people were obsessing over them they seem to have brought out some more kind of summery ones so we've got an orange one which is kind of faded and then this pink color and I'm pretty sure they're the exact same or if not they're very similar um, they're just these wide leg jeans and as you can see they're basically the same as the ones that everyone was going crazy for but they're just a, kind of a bit more of a summery color really um so these i got in a size six both of them and they're 29.99 these ones feel really soft like they're a really nice soft material but like i said they're sort of a washed denim uh, like a washed orangey denim color they're not super bright whereas these ones are just like a super bright pink color um they're the exact same style of jeans just a different color and i feel like if everyone loved these ones as much as they love the last ones then they're going to sell out quite quickly so if you want them i'd get them soon these ones are actually a beautiful color and again we have the little energy consumption tag thing that seems to be running trend throughout this haul today apparently and then carrying on with some more color actually let me just grab it i then got this little cohort kind of thing it's from the limitless contour collection and as you can see it's this kind of like bright green color but this with like a little kind of white shirt over the top or like a blazer with the green sandals that i showed earlier or something like that i think that would look really nice um so it's the classic limitless contour collection material that is super soft it's ribbed and it is literally so stretchy these were 11.99 they have the tag on and these were 
um that's just throwing me off talking about that tag um i got them in an extra small to small and then the top that i got to go with it i got in the same size again we have the energy tag on and this is 9.99 um and this is just like a simple little crop top and together you've got like a little cycling short top curled which i think is really cute and it's actually a really nice color which everyone seems to be loving at the moment this color so yeah and then lastly for this haul i got these leggings which i had to get in a size small because they didn't have my size in stock however i have since managed to get them but these are the size small and just for reference for the triangle clips they're a little bit big however they're quite a tight thick material so these might actually be a good size because i'm not sure how stretchy they're going to be but they're basically these really thick structured leggings they've got a kind of seam detail down the middle of them and then they've got like a kind of seam detailing on the top there i don't know how well you can see that but yeah, they're just these high-rise leggings. They're a size small, like I said, and these were $19.99. And I love wearing leggings in the winter time. Not really wearing them much at the moment because of the weather, but always in winter time, I live in leggings. But sometimes I feel like they don't look very nice. But these, I thought, are a really nice, thick leggings. So they're going to fit nicely. They're not going to look cheap. They're going to make the outfit look nicer. And when you don't want to wear jeans, you want to be comfy. I thought these would be perfect. Does that make any sense? I'm not sure. But yeah, I just thought they were a bit nicer than normal basic leggings that look a little bit rubbish sometimes. I thought these are nicer for like actually going out and wanting to wear leggings, if that makes sense. And that is the last item for this hour haul. It was quite a big one. A bit of like an all over the place one. My headache is starting to go away though, luckily. Um, but yeah, that's it for this hour haul. I'll see you at some point soon with another one for this month. And yeah, that's it for this video. And I shall see you soon. Bye.